What is up guys, Morisoft back here with another video and today we are doing a review on the TMC replica of the Spiritus Systems Mark III Micro Flight Rig and this goes for about 40 US dollars, 50 Canadian on AliExpress, eBay and tons of other air, um, airsoft replica retailers. The one I got is just the chassis, so it's with the full set with the dangler, the fat straps and um, yeah. It, that's about plus like thirty dollars, so about like seven dollars US. It comes this in this plastic bag along with the outer packaging when it gets shipped to you. TMC front set, and I got mine in Coyote Brown to match my mission spec AC2. If you if you want guys want to see a review of that, that's in the description. So it comes with of course the chassis itself. 2556 inserts, one's right here, and I've already installed one. One 762 insert, which you got in the front. Your front flap does not include these patches. The hook, the backer, and you got your Four quasim buckles. I have two on the plate carrier on these sides to integrate with your fat straps if you decide to use it as chest rig, which comes installed. And your Cordura tags, TMC tag, and of course, you can get comes a little bit of candy, very tasty. <laughs> so Getting onto the chassis itself, as I said, it is five, genuine 500D Cordura fabric in Coyote Brown. And it is pretty dang nice Coyote material. It completely matches with the US Cordura. I believe this is Chinese Cordura, but it's still Cordura fabric of the Mission Spec AC2. So, starting with the front of the rig, it has um, hoop side Velcro for your patches. They sell these um, little cam light holders with the elastic loops individually, which you can slap on this. And also, you can install your front flap, which I will get into right now. So there's these, this front pocket and the back pocket. They're both lined with separated. Just loop Velcro here, here. You guys can see it just inside here. It's all lined with Velcro, so you can get your um, elastic pouches in. So, you also know, sandwich a flap. Very modular system. It comes with a half flap, but you can also get a full flap or a zippered flap. You just sandwich your flap. You guys probably can't see that clearly, but sandwich your flap in between your insert and the um, the loop Velcro of the chassis itself, and you can have your front flap right here. Alright, so I got some 762 inserts in here for one extra mag up front, and just one little GP pouch. Flap over it at the front. At the back, I have five, um, three, five, five, six inserts for my M4 mags. You can also get, since it also comes with two 5.56 inserts, you can also make the choice of running six mags. So without the flap and without the 7.62 in the front, you can run six, six mags in this chassis. Plus some buckles for your fat straps or plate carrier integration. Comes with all the buckles you need, but as I said, two in the plate carrier. And if you're not, if you're using it as a placard for your plate carrier, you can also make use of these loops that the quasim buckles can usually be into. Put like a sharpie up here. Up the door. TMC. Up the door. And then you put like a carabine. Put the loops. And how you get in your inserts. There's this, it, it's pretty simple. There's this loop velcro here, loop velcro here, 
and then the intakes have hook velcro at the top. It's not just TMC that sells these, you can have Emerson gear, and if you want to get really Gucci, you can go for the actual Spiritus ones. There's loop velcro up there. Tons of inserts with pistol, SMG inserts, 762. Tons of different mags for your weapon platform. And then you just slide it in there, sandwich it, and then you fold it down. And then you, there's your inserts. And if you want to swap weapon systems, it's easy as just ripping the velcro out, putting another insert in. So at the back, it is lined with hook velcro. I've got the hook at the back for my gloves, which I'll put on right now. So the hook velcro, it can integrate with your plate carrier, because your plate carrier usually has the loop velcro. Or you can just take this backer, slap it on to prevent chafing on your um your body if you just want to use it as a chest rig. And also you can buy a separate dangler, or if you get the full set, it comes with it. It's got a dangler, you can also slap it. Back if I can get it. There you go. Now I got a dangling. Stitching on this is very good. It even has the reinforced. Let me see if you guys can see that. Reinforced bug tack in the corners where they usually rip. Also at the top, bug tack stitched all around. Very nice stitching. It's probably the most popular replica there is out there. And I have only found the Coyote Brown and Black ones in stock. The All the Multicam colors and oh yeah, all the other Multicam, uh, multicam patterns and other camo patterns are mostly out of stock. So be on the lookout for the Multicam ones if you want those. So, to install this on a plate carrier, it's pretty simple. Make sure you have your quasim buckles on your plate carrier. Clip it in. Make sure your pouch, your placard. Then just line the velcro together, and it's simple as that. So, these, the inserts, they're a little tight since the, the general volume of the microflight rig, it's pretty small compared to the um, Halo D3. Got a review on that uh, SOTAC tactical uh, Halo D3 replica, leave that in the comments below. So these inserts, the 556 at the back, they're pretty tight, but they once you use them a bit and you break them in, they pretty much um, fit and you can um, fit any magazines e easily in. P mags fit in very nicely. Metal GI mags also very nicely. Plastic airsoft GI mags fits very nicely. And they're fairly easy to re, re index the magazines. If you're doing that, I, I prefer to re, re index instead of using the dump pouch. Even if you fold them flat. They still go in very, very smoothly. Opposed to the Blue Force Gear 10 speeds. If you guys ever have one of those pouches, very hard to re index. Huh. If you want to use it as a chest rig, make sure you get your quasim buckles. If you have like the Sharpie or Carabiner, take those off. Just install them. I'm not going to, since this video is getting pretty long. Just take your cage harness, or X harness, whatever harness you have, and then just clip it to the rig itself, if you can find it. And then you got your sides clip, make sure you got them Quasim buckles in, then you got a chest rig, and you just need this as a standalone chest rig. You don't have to use it as a placard. All right, let's buckle this.
Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, this plaque, this TMC replica of the Spirit of Systems Microfight is a very good replica. Probably one of the best replicas on there, on the market today. And yeah, very modular system, very nice price. Overall, great, great piece of kit. Both the guys, I just lagged out because my SD card ran out of space. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Overall, great replica, great stitching, and fair price point. See you guys next one.